This is the second time I heard the screaming outside of my parents' house. My buddy had just gotten out of the Marines. We were heading out to my car to head home. We were living together at the time. There's three of us living in this house. As we're walking out to the car, I, it doesn't feel right, just right off the jump. And I'm like, oh no, let me get to the car as fast as I can. So I start walking faster. And he's kind of confused by what's going on. You know what I mean? And then it starts, just the most blood-curdling, terrifying, petrifying scream imaginable. And he says, what is that? And I say, I don't know. We should leave. It happens again. We can't move. It stops. He's like, what is that? Now, at this point in time, there's a lot of thoughts going through my mind. Most of them involve the fact that he just got out of the Marines. He's trained to do work, right? Like, I'm fairly confident in my ability as a marksman, and I've seen this guy on the range. He's unbelievable. And he's terrified, right? So, like, imagine what's going through my mind. I wasn't super scared at first. I was just like, right, we need to get out of here. And then I saw how scared he was, and I was like, oh boy, this is way worse than I thought it was. So we're wrestling with the car, trying to get in and get out of there. The ride home was very strange. It was a lot of, what, what was that? And me explaining, I don't know, and then going through what it could be, because I don't, I still don't know. I don't know what it was. Was it a Bigfoot? Was it a Dogman? Was it a Wendigo? Was it... There's a, there's a folklore where we live called the Screaming Witch of Waterloo. Was that it? I don't know. I don't know what it was. But still to this day, um, and when we hang out, if he has a few too many, he'll just stop what he's doing, turn and look at me and go, What do you think that was? We heard screaming at your parents' house.